Lung cancer is the second most common cancer worldwide. More people die of lung cancer than colorectal, liver, and breast cancers combined. About half of all lung cancers are diagnosed after it has already metastasized. At this point, chances of survival are extremely low. The five-year survival rate is only 4%. In contrast, about one in five lung cancers is diagnosed while in the early stage, where the cancer is relatively small and contained within the lung. The five-year survival rate here is 63%, highlighting the importance of early diagnosis. Early detection is the next frontier in the battle against lung cancer. Diagnosis earlier in the course of the disease could make a dramatic difference in the life expectancy of lung cancer. Patients. Currently nearly half of these patients are diagnosed at stage 4 and have an extremely low net 5-year survival rate, 4%. In contrast, patients diagnosed when their lung cancer is at stage 1 have a 63% 5-year survival rate. One expert estimates that early screening could allow up to 75% of lung cancers to be detected at an earlier, more treatable stage of the disease. Most common symptoms are tied to the basic functions of the lungs and may include 1. Coughing that doesn't go away or gets worse. A lung cancer cough isn't easy to identify by type. What sets it apart from other coughs is how long it lasts. Most coughs caused by other conditions will clear up in a few weeks, but lung cancer coughs are chronic, meaning they last longer than eight weeks. Many people with lung cancer say their cough just won't go away. Two, coughing up blood. Hemoptysis can be a warning sign of lung cancer. In fact, it is the only sign present in 30% of people at the time of diagnosis. The blood is often present in small amounts, such as what you would find on a blood-tinged tissue but any amount of blood sputum should be evaluated carefully by your doctor. Three, respiratory infections. Many people diagnosed with lung cancer say that their symptoms were first dismissed by themselves or even their healthcare providers as being due to a respiratory infection alone. But when lung tumors grow near the airways, they can cause an obstruction that raises the risk of these infections. Repeated infections such as pneumonia and bronchitis are, in fact, common before lung cancer is diagnosed. 4. Spontaneous Smoking Cessation It's been found that a significant number of people with lung cancer reduce the number of cigarettes they smoke or spontaneously quit smoking prior to their diagnosis. What's interesting is that very few symptoms of withdrawal occur in most cases. Until recently, this cessation being able to spontaneously stop smoking may actually be early symptom of lung cancer. It has been known that many lung cancer patients have stopped smoking before diagnosis, but that has been thought to be due to symptoms that they felt. Now, however, a study suggests that the ability to spontaneously stop may actually be an early sign of lung cancer without there being any actual symptoms. Chemicals that decrease the addictiveness of nicotine coughing. Eight weeks, cough that just won't go. Away coughing up blood spitting of blood derived from the lungs respiratory infections smoking. Cessation chest pain. Many people mention that they feel chest pain before they are diagnosed with lung cancer. The lungs themselves do not have nerves that sense pain but pain can be caused by several things, such as the pressure of a tumor on nerves, pain in the ribs from cancer that has spread to the bones, muscle strain, or even rib fractures from repeated coughing. Although not everyone with lung cancer develops these symptoms, these are the symptoms most likely to appear before the disease spreads and becomes more serious. So if you have a bad cough, recurring chest pain, or respiratory infections, see your family doctor. At the end of the day, you can't go wrong with listening to your body and being cautious. Medical Information Disclaimer This video contains general medical information. The information in this video is only for educational purposes. 
The medical information is not advice and should not be treated as such. You must not rely on the information in our videos as an alternative to medical advice from your doctor or other professional healthcare provider. My channel Health Tips by Sha Ji. Thank <laughs> you.